Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Andrea Ali and today's video is going to be a little bit different. This is an older look that I've created about three and a half years ago, but it was in Romania. Now here I am doing voiceover. I'm getting straight into it with this professional primer. This is from Benefit and it helps you fill in those pores a little bit, smoothen the skin. And then I'm applying this Kevin O'Con. Look at the quantity that I'm using. Like, that's it. I remember this product had such a huge coverage. A little goes a long way. And I'm using this beauty blender, this damn beauty blender, to apply this skin enhancer all over the face, but especially the center of the face. This product has great coverage, and you want to use it by tapping motions. Next product is this Naked Concealer from Urban Decay. And I don't know if you can tell, but it has a slightly peachy color. I know it's it's very light, but it, it does have that peachy undertone that's going to help correct the dark circles. You don't want to use a super light concealer if you have very dark under eyes. You want to um, make sure you use something to correct the color first. Now I'm doing like this mixture between the Makeup Forever stick foundation and this Armani foundation only to give the skin a little bit more dimension. I apply this under the cheekbones as you can see it's a little bit on the forehead and also down the neck. And then I come with the Chanel Soleil Teint de Chanel just to um, bronze the skin. And I apply this on the forehead, a little bit on the chin. Her skin is, is, is beautiful, but I, I do like to create that very soft, bronzy look. Then I go on with the powder, Laura Mercier. You guys know I love that powder. I start with the under eyes and I apply this pretty much on the center of the face. Don't forget that you want to make sure that there is no product that creased under the eyes before you do this step. Next product is this one from Makeup Forever that does not exist anymore. I'm so sorry. It was called Shine On. A very similar one is the NARS in the color Albatross. Do you guys remember the fan brush? Oh my god. I used to use this a lot to apply the highlighter. Now I'm contouring the nose with this grayish contour. You want to use a contour color that has that grayish tone in order to make it look, you know, credible. The same color I'm using under the cheekbones to sculpt them a little bit more. And now I got closer because I'm going to do the eyebrows and I'm using the Brow Powder Duo from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Medium Brown. She already has amazing eyebrows. Now, if I had the Brow Flick from Glossier back then, I would have used that. I'm brushing the eyebrows a little bit just to get the excess off and to make them look a little bit more natural. Now I'm using this eyeshadow primer. This is Air Patrol from Benefit. Now the, the star powder. Oh my God, I used to love this product so much. This is... Uh, an incredible product. They still make this, by the way. This color in particular is just one of my favorite to use, especially for green eyes, I would say. And I I take my time when I apply this. And in order to uh, actually apply this type of product, because it's a it's like a loose powder, I would suggest you to spray your brush with a little bit of setting mist. I'm applying the same eyeshadow on the top lid and also on the bottom lid like right at the base of the lashes oh my god nylon from mac what an amazing eyeshadow perfect to be used in the inner corner of the eye and also a little bit on the bra bone such an amazing eyeshadow now the next one is bronze also from mac and I use it to just deepen out that uh, crease. 
I know that a lot of you um, are used on applying probably matte eyeshadow in the crease, but you know, sometimes shimmery eyeshadows look very, very pretty uh, in the crease as well. Next one is Espresso, also from MAC, and I use it like only at the outer corner to give the eye a little bit more drama. Here's a very uh, good trick if you want to open up the eyes, just use um, some concealer or just a skin color pencil on the waterline. Clinique High Impact Mascara was my favorite for years. It's still a great mascara, but very natural. I'm, I'm more into very dramatic lashes now. I like volume. I use the same mascara on the bottom lashes as well. And I take my time for that. I, I like every single one of those lashes to be coated with mascara. NARS highlighter in the color orgasm that i apply it on the lips i'm not sure if this they make exactly this formula but now they have so many um, other products of uh, from this orgasm collection i applied it also on the top of the cheekbones and now with this tiny little brush i correct the smallest imperfections i like to do this step right at the end of my makeup Next is this clear gloss because I felt like the, the, the lips were just a bit too dry. Now this highlighter from Estee Lauder was one of a kind. They don't make that anymore. I'm setting the makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Mist and that is it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the ring bell button. Check out Luisa's Instagram. Thank you so much for being my model. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.